Today in America, we have a majority whom I call biblically illiterate. And therefore, many of them throw around things like love, and love wins. They don't even know what they're talking about. Doesn't the Bible say, obey your president? Well, that is why in this church, for 28 years I taught that always interpret the Scripture in its context. You put the text in its context, and when people do not do that, they end up in heresies and they end up in making a mess of things. And so, when the Apostle Paul was writing to Christians in Rome, and he told them to obey the emperor and those in authority, it was a pure dictatorship. I'm here among very few who have lived under dictatorship. I know what it's like to live under dictatorship. I understand that text in its context. But thank God, at least for now here in the United States of America, we do not have an emperor or an absolute sovereign. Amen. Amen. In fact, many of the founders in the early deliberation, they used to say, we have no king but Jesus. Our authority is the Constitution of the United States, and we are under obligation to obey the Constitution, not the President or the Congress or even the Supreme Court, especially if they go against the Constitution. When I had the privilege of becoming a U.S. citizen many years ago, I did not pledge allegiance to the President of the United States. I did not pledge allegiance to the Congress or to the Supreme Court. I pledged allegiance to the Constitution. And so do all of those. Amen. Amen. And so all of those who have elected official or appointed position, they pledge allegiance to the Constitution of the United States, and they place themselves under obligation to defend it and uphold its authority. And so when an elected or appointed official, regardless of political party, because we've seen it is working both ways, regardless of political party, whenever they try to dismantle or shred the Constitution, we the people must stand up and say no. When five black-robed, non-elected officials rewrite the Constitution, we are under obligation to say, God is right and you are wrong. Amen. Otherwise, we will end up in a dictatorship, and our grandchildren will say to us, why didn't you speak and resist when you had the freedom to do so?